you were able to witness in this last 2023 the way ChatGPT changed the way people worked forever. The tech landscape is changing rapidly and now AI agents are becoming major game changers in the business world. But what is an AI agent? Think of AI agents as your digital helpers, but supercharged. They are smart algorithms that can handle tasks on their own, learning as they go to make smarter decisions. As these agents become more sophisticated, businesses are using them to make things run smoother, personalize customer experiences, and come up with fresh ideas. Before we move on to the rest of the video and explain the potential opportunities of AI agents in this 2024, it's very important that you understand how AI agents work in the background. So the most popular method people are developing AI agents is by using Langchain. So Langchain is basically a framework that is built on top of an existing programming language such as Python and provides an infrastructure for building, deploying and managing AI agents that can perform a variety of tasks more effectively. So if we get specific about the Langchain framework, what a Langchain agent is, it's basically a language model that has access to user specific data, which we will store in some form of storage, but also it has this access to tools and tools could be a Python library that allows the language model to perform calculations based on the data we gave it, which is stored somewhere. With that data that is stored, it can also perform other functions with tools, such as an API, which can connect to an external service, such as Shopify. So let's get in a little bit more depth by me going through an example use case, which in this case will be a Shopify agent. So coming back to what I said before, so you're working on a chatbot for your e-commerce business, right? Whether you're in retail services or any other B2C industry, this example will probably resonate Many businesses worldwide are already tapping into the power of GPT 3.5 and GPT 4 to build their chatbots. But here's the catch. While these models have vast general knowledge, they lack familiarity with your specific data. So your chatbot needs to know about your products, your customers, and the context of their interactions to provide a great customer experience. In a previous video, I've discussed using Langchain and vector storage to address this gap. So in a previous video I mentioned about the concept of retrieval augmented generation or RAG. So I'll, I'll drop a link to the video if you want to see it. By organizing your product data into databases like Pinecone or Chroma and allowing the language model to access this data, your chatbot gains valuable insight into your products. But that's just the first step. To truly enhance customer interactions and drive sales, your chatbot also needs to access customer specific information. So for example, is the visitor new or returning? What's their browsing or purchase history? So this contextual data enables your chatbot to provide personalized recommendations and tailored assistance. So how do we make this information available to the chatbot at runtime or in real time? Well, you enter the realm of microservices. So by integrating with APIs and computational resources using Langchain connectors, we create what we call agents. And agents are the fusion of a language model with specific tools or resources, enabling the model to tackle specific tasks effectively. Just like how a person uses tools like Python or Excel to solve a problem, agents empower the language model to handle complex interactions and tasks. So hopefully that was clear. If not, you can always go back and rewatch the video at any point. And if that didn't work, drop a comment down below and I'll be happy to answer. But yeah, now I want to take a step back onto a, more, onto a more general approach. And I want you to understand from another perspective why Langchain is such a big game changer because you really need to understand this in this 2024. So let's talk about business communication channels. So when it comes to business communication, there are five main channels through which businesses interact with customers paid in social media, web pages, chats, emails, and SMS. These channels shape the online customer experience, primarily through text, images, and video. And while businesses are already leveraging language models like ChatGPT for generating text content, there's more to consider. Images and videos are also crucial elements and companies are exploring AI-driven solutions like Midjourney and Stable Diffusion. Although they are out there, and they do a pretty good job at generating images and video. 
they're not to a point where they can be integrated within business communication channels effectively, right? You can still tell the difference in an AI generated image and an AI generated video for now. They will soon, but for now, we won't consider them for this example. And so language models alone don't possess enough knowledge about customers to create truly personalized experiences. To deliver exceptional customer experiences, language models need to access both raw and processed customer data from analytical services. And this includes churn and retention scores, segmentation models, product recommendations, and customer journey analytics. And fortunately, analytical services have been evolving for years, and now they can serve as valuable tools for language models. This integration bridges the gap between the traditional world of analytics and the new frontier of AI, thanks to Langchain. But now, on top of language models, we have agents. So, before ending the video, I want to highlight two different approaches to implementing agents. So the first way I mentioned in this, in this video, which would be implementing agents using the Langchain framework and a language such as Python in your preferred environment, such as Visual Studio. And this provides a powerful and, and flexible solution. But yeah, this is only suitable for people that are already familiar with Python. If you don't fall into that category, don't worry at all because there's a really good alternative that offers the lowest barrier to entry that I've ever seen. And this is using OpenAI's Assistance API as well as having a little bit of code on the back end and having a no code tool such as PodPress or VoiceFlow as the front end. This is the simplest and quickest way to do it because the front end where all the conversations would happen between the agent and the user will be handled by these no code tools such as VoiceFlow and PodPress. Instead of using the first method where you would have to program the conversational flows as well as the front end by yourself. And so if you want to learn how to do it with the second method, I really suggest that you follow my channel because in the next following weeks, I will be putting out a lot of valuable content that will teach you how to use assistance API as well as no code tools in order to create agents as well as automating aspects of your workflow because if you're able to create agents for specific use cases you will be able to sell these to businesses to solve some of their pain points or automate part of their workflows and therefore there's a serious opportunity for you to make a lot of cash if you are able to understand this and implement this that's the end of this video if you enjoyed the video and you found it useful, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, let me know why in the comments below. And yeah, see you in the next one.